Have y'all heard of Jimmy Choo? I'll be honest, about a year and a half ago, I wasn't really into anything about premium or designer brands, so I was not familiar with Jimmy Choo whatsoever. And then they did a collaboration with Sailor Moon. So of course, I hopped on that train real fast and I purchased a lot of items from the original collaboration. Now in 2024, we have a second collaboration with Jimmy Choo. And of course, your girl had access to all the leaks. I found out about all the pictures before they actually announced anything. So I knew exactly what I wanted with this collaboration. Now, I would have posted this video earlier, but I was waiting on packages to come in from multiple different places across the entire world. In fact, the last thing I was waiting for came from Milan, Italy. It flew up to the UK, and then it came all the way over here to Denver, Colorado. So now that everything is here, I'm so excited to show you my second haul from the Jimmy Choo and Sailor Moon collaboration. During the first collaboration, I made a review video and talked about all the different items that were available, and I talked about the costs and some of the associated items that I decided to purchase. At the time, I had theorized that they could do a second collab that had to do more with the outer Sailor Guardians, and guess what happened? They actually did an outer Sailor Guardians collaboration. Now, just like the first one, I decided not not to purchase any of the Sailor Guardian shoes. And that was mainly just out of personal preference. I thought they were gorgeous, but at the same time, I don't really dress up very often to go out and wear fancy shoes. I don't wear heels a lot. So I couldn't really think of a way that I could use those shoes and have them be worth the purchase price for me. But I did end up buying a lot of the accessories and a lot of bags. So let's get into those. Now, one of the nice things about this second collaboration is every single item that you purchased in the collab, from the least expensive item to the very most expensive item, all came with a pack of trading cards. If you ordered one of the more expensive items, they would come with two or three trading card packs, and the cheaper items came with one pack per item. Each of these packs came with three trading cards, and they were random. Some of them are more rare than others. I'm currently in the process of unpacking all of these little packs of collector cards. So if you wanna see me unbox these collector cards, go over to my Instagram, which is Sailor Snuff. That is also where I will be trading all of my collector cards. So I'm going to put all these to the side while I'm unboxing today, and we will check these out in a future video on my Sailor Snubs Instagram account. In total, you can collect 24 different collector cards. Some of them have rainbow foil texture, like holographic. Other ones are a more simplistic foil design, but Every single one in the collection is absolutely gorgeous. I kind of want to collect every single one, but it really depends on which ones I pull. I know some of them are going for really expensive prices on Mercari and eBay. However, I haven't seen any of the really expensive ones actually get purchased. So I think that we're going to see the prices drop. So hold, don't purchase from the scalpers. Wait until those prices go down on those cards, okay? All right. I do want to say a big shout out to the Jimmy Choo stores as well as a couple of my friends. So I did end up getting each of the different sizes for the Jimmy Choo shopping bags and they're so pretty. I really love the detail of the Jimmy Choo and Sailor Moon logo on the front of these and I think they would make an excellent little collector item that you could use to store your items as well as to just display maybe on your collector shelf like this one. I did want to show you the bags. I really, really like the design of the logo. I think they chose a really perfect logo for this collaboration. This big bag, which was mainly for like the Sailor Guardian shoes, is gigantic. Okay, so I have five different items for you. I'm going to go through them from, I think, the smallest item to the biggest item. Let's go ahead and check them out. Now, I did want to discuss a little bit about my shopping experience with Jimmy Choo as well. So I was ready and prepared and set to go on the website. I was super excited about it. And even my best friend and her husband were also super ready to go, had our carts ready. We were logged in and we were more than enough prepared for this drop. And then the website kept on failing on us. There was a while there when the website wouldn't even load for me. And I kind of started panicking because I really intended to purchase a couple of vanity bags, one for myself and one for my best friend, uh, because her favorite Sailor Guardian 
I'll show you which one is hers. But I also wanted to grab one of these vanity bags for myself and neither of us were able to check out. For some reason, it wouldn't load whenever we put it in the cart. Eventually, they sold out completely. However, we were able to grab one of these. So my best friend actually was able to purchase two of these items. So we got matching ones and I was so excited. She was able to get one of these. I was able to purchase a pair of shoes. And the next morning I tried again because I noticed that one of the bags was back in stock. The same thing happened to me last year. I woke up in the middle of the night and I was able to check out with one of the bags that I really wanted it randomly showed up in stock. So the same thing happened this year too. So if you are shopping on the Jimmy Choo website, don't lose hope. <laughs> there were a lot of people trying to buy things when it first released and when it was first available. And I think that's what crashed the website. But between me and her, we were able to get four items on the website. There were still a couple of items that I was concerned I would not be able to get online. So I will tell you the story on those in just a bit. Let's go ahead and open the very first item, which is the Lease Z card holder. This one features Sailor Saturn and Sailor Pluto. You'll notice that everything in this collaboration comes in these beautiful black boxes with a embossed logo on the front. So when I move this around in the lighting, you can see how it's embossed. It's very beautiful. That is a lovely logo. I think they did a quality job with that. We have a little branded Jimmy Choo silica gel. I love that. I did want to point out the sticker that is included to enclose the tissue paper. This is such a pretty sticker. I would love to have extras of these just for my collection. So the tissue paper this year is different. This year it features some really beautiful art that is from the manga. Again, this is more categorized towards the outer Sailor Guardians. So you will notice more Sailor Guardians that are the outers on here. For example, we have Sailor Pluto over here, Uranus and Neptune and Chibi Moon right there. The tissue paper is really gorgeous. I would honestly frame it. Okay, so here's the first item that we're unboxing today. This features a little drawstring pouch, a little bag that also has the Sailor Moon logo on it with Jimmy Choo. And on the inside, there is a second bag. And this is more of your dust bag. So this is going to be like a linen cloth and this will keep your item safe. Let's check out this beautiful, beautiful card holder. Oh, look at that. It is stunning. Oh my gosh. Oh, gorgeous. Gorgeous. So on this gorgeous card holder. We have Setsuna and Hotaru. We have Saturn and Pluto. We also have this really pretty kind of a smoky silver color for the Jimmy Choo logo, that metal emblem on the front. We have the matching little carabiner over here and the drawstring. I believe that these are real leather this year, which I very much appreciate. I think that's wonderful. On the interior, we have this gorgeous pink lining as well as the Jimmy Choo logo. This is going to be your instructions for taking care of your item. And on the back, of course, we have the card holder piece. So this is perfect for if you just want to carry around some cash and put your cards in here. Super, super useful. I think this would be great for Example, if you're going to Japan and you want to have something for your Pasmo case, you could easily use one of these. On the back, we have, of course, the item information, and I believe this is the certificate. Yes, this is the certificate of authenticity to ensure that you're getting a real item and not a bootleg. I really like this card holder. I think it's gorgeous. I did get a card holder from the first collaboration and it was also beautiful. So I think I still have it. So if I do still have it, I will show you a comparison. All right, moving on, we have the only pair of shoes that I purchased this year. And I did order a pair of shoes, but it was not the Sailor Guardian shoes. These are tennis shoes. So these are called the Sailor Moon Palma Maxis. Now, one thing I wanted to point out with each of these items is they come in a nice white box and the box also has this beautiful holographic sticker which features Sailor Moon on a crescent moon with her moon stick. That is a really, really cute little attention to detail that also gives you an idea of which items. Oh, there you go. Now you can really see it. This also tells you whether or not your item is authentic. If it comes in this box and it has this really cool logo sticker on it, then you know that it's real. Very nice. So I got these in a size 39, which is the same size that I ordered last year for the diamond sneakers, the diamond tennis shoes. Okay, let's go ahead and open these. Ooh, I'm so excited. Here we have another instruction manual. Nice thing is these shoes actually come with their own bags as well. So we have a couple of drawstring bags, one for each shoe. 
love these. They're beautiful. And then we have our beautiful box. This one also has a sticker on the front of it, as well as the gorgeous tissue paper. Let's take a look at this tissue paper. So this box has a little bit better tissue paper. It's a, we've got quite a bit more in here. So I think if I was to frame any of this tissue paper, this would be an excellent condition one for me to choose. These are really, really beautiful. Ah, just look at that. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm obsessed. Okay, so here up at the top, we have Sailor Moon. Then down here, we have Sailor Saturn. Oh, my favorite. Love those girls. Love them. Beautiful. Look at that. We have Sailor Saturn with her silence glaive, and that looks incredible. All right, here's our two shoes. So I was not sure if these would fit or not. However, I decided to purchase the same size that I got last year since those ones fit really well. These are about a half size larger than what I normally purchase, but I found that to be pretty accurate for Jimmy Choo. These shoes also come with a nice linen white cloth that you can put them in for dust prevention. But I'm gonna set that box aside so we can take a look at the shoes. So these are the rainbow edition. However, if you weren't into the rainbow colors, you could also get a black and white version too. Now on each side, we have different art. So on this side, we have Super Sailor Moon. This is on the outer side for the right side shoe. One of the things I noticed immediately in comparison to last year's model is this one has this cloth upper and a embroidered Jimmy Choo logo on the front of it. We also have these cute little diamond embellishments for your laces. Those are so pretty. And there's a cute little diamond at the back. Now this is not a real diamond, don't worry. That'd be pretty cool if it was, but it's not. On the inside of the right shoe, we have this gorgeous image of, let's see, who's on there? It looks like it's Sailor Pluto. We have Haruka and Neptune. So Pluto, Uranus, and Neptune at the back. They are all super shocked and stunned at what's going on currently. I really like the attention to detail on these shoes. And oh, that's cool. Look at that. We got a Jimmy Choo logo on the bottom. That's awesome. So every time you kick up your feet, everybody's going to know that you're wearing uh, Jimmy Choo shoes. If you do choose to wear these, you know what I'm saying? I also really like the little details on the interior. We have this Jimmy Choo Sailor Moon logo on the inside, as well as the Jimmy Choo logo on the tongue. However, compared to last year, there is no printing on the tongue itself. They also didn't come with rainbow laces like they did last year. That would have been cool. Okay, so that's one shoe, but this one's completely different. On this one, on the outer side, we have the inner Sailor Guardians on the left side. Again, we have that embroidered Jimmy Choo logo on the front. On the opposite side, we have this beautiful image of Sailor Saturn. That is gorgeous. Gosh, I love the gradient color detail here. The gradient that they chose is really beautiful and it looks stunning from any way that you look at these shoes. Like gosh, just look at that. Wow. It's kind of cool that if somebody is facing you from this side, this angle, they will see the surprised faces of all the Sailor Guardians. However, on the other side, they will see the two bigger images of Sailor Moon and Sailor Saturn. So pretty. These have a bit of a platform too. If you look at the inside, you will notice that these don't go down very far. It looks like they go down to about here. So there is like an inch of a platform going on with these diamond maxis. It's pretty interesting. Now I will try these on and let you know what I think. I also wanted to compare the shoes from last year as well as this year. So we do have two different models of Jimmy Choo shoes. We have the ones from last year, which are the diamond maxis, I believe. And then this year we have the Palma maxis. Now in the case of last year's, we have the shiny material that the images were printed on. This year we have the more fabric fabric version. Uh, these are pretty dirty. I do use them all the time. I'm not somebody that purchases items to just have them in my collection room. If they are fashion items or accessories, I do intend to use them. So you will notice that the soles of these are dirty. I don't intend to resell them, so I'm more than happy to actually use these items. You will notice that the ones previously did come with those beautiful rainbow laces. I would probably replace these with some pastel rainbow laces, some gradient laces, so that we get that really cute uniqueness to them. I also noticed that the little bullets are different. This year we have the diamonds. Last year we had those iridescent little circles. Now as I try these on, I wanted to point out a few 
notes that I noticed about comfort, stability, etc., etc. These are taller. They are more of a platform. There's like an inch in there of extra room. So you are going to feel a little bit taller whenever you're wearing these. There is a bit of cushioning in there. So they do feel pretty comfortable to walk around in. I would not use these as a city walker shoe, something that I'm wearing around Tokyo for 20,000 steps a day. I would choose hiking shoes for that. But for day-to-day -day scenarios for walking around a mall or hanging out and going to Target. Uh, these are perfect for examples like that, just not 20,000 steps per day. Uh, the back of these do not go up as high as the previous year. That was something I noticed too, but that might be a good thing because I did get a slight blister whenever I was wearing the ones from last year. Now, the main thing I wanted to mention with these shoes, now that I have tried them on, is they are a little bit, they feel a little bit more narrow than the diamond maxis that I had purchased previously. I got them both in the same size, so I think just this Palma Maxi goes a little bit more narrow. I did try to help with this by extending and loosening these laces all the way down to the bottom to give my toes and give my foot a little bit more wiggle room, but I did notice that my toes do feel a little bit squished from side to side in this shoe. So they do feel a little bit more snug than last year's Diamond Maxis. So the shoes and this bag were the only items that I was able to purchase online. My goal was to purchase two of these bags, one for me and one for my friend. That didn't happen, so I ended up having to get her bag through a wonderful friend of mine, Jerome. Thank you so much. So shout out to Jerome for helping me get one of these bags for my best friend. It was for her anniversary, so I really, really wanted to make sure that it happened for her and her husband. It was so important and so special, and I'm really, really grateful that one of my friends was able to help me get one from his own physical store. So shout out to Jerome and shout out to the Beverly Hills LA store for Jimmy Choo for helping me obtain one of these bags. Uh, Y'all made my best friend's day. You made my day and you made it happen. And I, I am so grateful for Jimmy Choo's customer service. Like seriously, they came through this year like none other. I guess that's what happens when you purchase from a premium brand is they they treat you really well. So I was very impressed. <laughs> so here we have the first bag. This is the one that I got online. However, I did get another one of these, a second one for my best friend uh, through Jerome in the Beverly Hills store. But this is the first one that I got in the mail and I was so excited about it. I kind of squealed and freaked out because this was the kind of bag that I've been wanting in my life for a very long time. So we have, of course, the shoulder strap here, extra tissue paper, and here we have the drawstring bag with the linen bag for our vanity bag. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm so excited. <laughs> wow, this is so beautiful. I'm shocked. I'm shocked and speechless. I'm gonna need a moment. Oh, this is so pretty. It's real leather. Oh, it's so gorgeous. Oh my gosh. So I recently added that Volkstall to my collection and uh, kind of felt the same way when I opened that thing. Like, I feel the same way about opening this. It's one of those things that I just like, I didn't know it was a grail until it was a grail. And I'm so thrilled about this, but let's get this box out of the way so I can show you this gorgeous, gorgeous vanity bag. So this bag is called the Sailor Saturn Avenue Vanity Bag. Similar to the previous collaboration, we did end up getting bags for all of the different Sailor Guardians. As opposed to the first collab when they had five different bags for the Inner Guardians, this year we had a good whopping 10 different bags that you could choose from, one for each of the Sailor Guardians. So no matter who your favorite character was, uh, you, you were able to purchase one of these bags uh, if it was within your budget. So this is the Sailor Saturn of the Avenue vanity bags. Now, why is this a vanity bag? Because it's kind of shaped like a vanity bag, one of those that you would use for makeup and things of that nature. But in this case, this bag is specifically used for actually carrying. So it is rather small, but it is made out of real leather, premium, high quality materials, and it feels really, really nice to the touch. Uh, this year, we do not have the same kind of faux leather that had a bit of a texture to it. This year, it's much more smooth. It's very flat, but that also means that you get this really, really clear printing quality. 
I love that the Jimmy Choo logo on the front of this is metal and it's purple. It's this beautiful, beautiful purple that matches the print color of the bag itself. Of course, on the front, this one has Sailor Saturn. On the top, it also features a gorgeous image of Sailor Saturn. She looks amazing. She is also featured on the side here. On this side, there's not much going on. And then on the bottom, you have like the bottom part of that panel print. Now, it was hard to tell from the internet what the back of these bags looked like until they were actually released uh, because many of the images were not released unless you had access to a leak, <laughs> like some of us did. So in this case, we have this gorgeous image of Sailor Saturn and it wraps around to the bottom, which I love. I love that little detail. We have the Jimmy Choo Sailor Moon logo at the bottom, but I also really appreciate that it's small, so it's not really loud or anything, and it doesn't cover up a lot of the print on the back. But again, it's a very clear print. It looks really, really beautiful, and the front of it looks gorgeous as well. Now, one of the signature items that you will notice with Jimmy Choo Avenue vanity bags is these cute little gemstones and pearls for your hand. And we also, again, have the same, similar to the card holder, leather straps for the zipper. What's in here? Let's see. All right, we have our little description detail right here, carrying instructions as well as the certificate of authenticity. Oh, that is cool. Look at that little detail. On the interior, it actually says Sailor Saturn at the top. And that's a Sailor Moon font, which I love. That's so cool. Oh, is this like a pocket? Oh, it is a pocket. So that's actually a pocket. So you can put like cards or money or your ID back there. That's super useful. And this does look like it's big enough to hold quite a few items inside this Avenue vanity bag. Now I wonder, because I always purchase the ultra phones. I wonder if this is going to fit my phone. Oh, it totally fits. That's awesome. I'm so happy that it fits. So that's the Sailor Saturn Avenue vanity bag, uh, which is beautiful by the way, but I also wanted to check out the shoulder strap. Ooh, that is so pretty. Oh, I love that it's adjustable too. That's really cool. Okay, a few things I wanted to point out with the shoulder strap. Love that it's adjustable, so it's like a belt. You can just switch this over to whichever bullet that you prefer. It does have a teeny tiny little Jimmy Choo logo right there at the bottom of this belt. That's very cool. Shoulder strap, I should say. I love that the little carabiner clips are also in purple here. That's really beautiful. And it's leather. I very much appreciate that they chose a simple leather strap as opposed to giving us something like this, which would most definitely pull on your hair if you were trying to use this. So this is great for your hand. This is great for carrying around on your wrist if you wanted to but love that we have the shoulder strap in leather. That is so cool. That is a beautiful, beautiful bag. I'm so impressed. Oh my gosh. When I tell y'all how hard it was to keep a secret so that my friend didn't find out about that Sailor Saturn bag, like I couldn't post that I got one. I couldn't post how many items I actually received. I couldn't do the card unboxings. Cause I knew, cause she's smart. She would probably count those and be like, wait, but I thought you only got one bag. Why do you have multiple shopping bags like what's going on <laughs> so this item actually sold out here in the u.s pretty quickly and i had to hunt high and low and go through all sorts of resources including jimmy choo's customer service to be able to find one of these bags so this item actually shipped from italy to the uk and then it was there for a couple of days and i was like oh my god are they going to ship it? Are they going to ship it? Do they expect me to pick it up from the store? What's going on? And then it shipped via DHL and it arrived in like two days. It just got here today. So I have not actually seen this thing at time of recording. Uh, this is my first time actually opening this. So I'm very excited. <laughs> I can't wait to see this in person. So this one, I'm not even going to tell you what it is. I'm just going to open it so you can see it because I'm freaking out that I was able to get one of these. I couldn't believe it. Okay, you can tell immediately that this is another Avenue vanity bag. Again, this is from the collaboration. So we have the same bag here. We have another shoulder strap. I'm sure the color just gave it away if it didn't already. Should I just pull it out? I think I should. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's so pretty. Oh, the back. Oh, wow. Okay, I need a moment so I'm not like hyperventilating over here, but... <sighs> wow, this is so pretty. It was worth the wait. Totally worth the wait. <sighs> this is the Sailor Moon 
Avenue vanity bag. So this is the same size as the Sailor Saturn Avenue vanity bag, but this one of course features Sailor Moon instead. So let's take a close up look. Now again, this one was so hard to get because it sold out so quickly here in the US. It just happened that Sailor Saturn and the Sailor Moon bags were so hard to find because everybody wanted these two bags. I'm so grateful to my contacts who were able to find and obtain one of these for me and get it shipped here to the United States. So huge thank you. I love you, Jimmy Choo. Your customer service is amazing. And huge shout out to Jerome again, who helped me with getting all the things that I wanted to get from this collection. You're amazing. You're so wonderful. The Sailor Moon community is a wonderful place to be. So on the front of this bag, of course, we have this hot pink beautiful art of Sailor Moon and we also have the matching Jimmy Choo emblem the logo on this side we have closed eyes Sailor Moon with the crescent moon on her forehead glowing so cool at the top is this beautiful illustration again all of these illustrations are from the manga all of them were drawn by Naoko Takeuchi here we have Sailor Moon right there and we have this beautiful image of Sailor Moon on the side and that is just so gorgeous I love love that picture of Sailor Moon. But what really makes this bag, I think, is the back. Just look at that. It is absolutely gorgeous. Here, of course, we have Sailor Moon. She is in her gorgeous, gorgeous fuku, one of my favorite fukus, the super one. We have so many details that were recreated in this bag from the manga, and it just looks stunning to see in person. It's so clear, and I love that it's printed in pink. It's gorgeous. This image does lead down to the bottom of the bag, so there's her legs. Lovely. Let's look at the interior. Look at that strap. Gosh, that's so pretty. Okay, let's look at the interior. Of course, we have all of our goodies in here. Oh, that's cool. So on the interior of this one, it says Super Sailor Moon and then Jimmy Choo Sailor Moon logo. Again, this is a little place where you can stick things. So that's a nice little pocket. And the interior is printed in this beautiful, bright pink, almost a darker pink color which I think is gorgeous. It looks really, really good. That is such a pretty bag. Oh man, wow. I'm so impressed. I'm so impressed. I am so impressed by this collaboration. Everything in here so far has been just incredible. It's so beautiful. <laughs> here we have the second shoulder strap. So this one comes with the Super Sailor Moon bag. This one again has that little Jimmy Choo logo on it. It is adjustable again. And we have those matching little carabiners for your bag. So we've unboxed almost everything, but I have one item left, just one more. Uh, and this one did not come in its own black box, but we do have this gigantic white box that it came in. This is the Sailor Moon Diamond Tote in a medium size. This was the first item that I reserved and I was able to claim this item through another one of my amazing friends in the Sailor Moon community. Sailor Ratha. So huge thank you to Sailor Ratha for being able to grab one of these for me. I'm so grateful because this was one of those items that sold out online real quick, but it was available in store. So he was able to get one for me. Now, if you recall, Woo, this is a big bag. Now you might recall that last year for the last collaboration, I did end up getting one of the big tote bags for the last one too. I was able to get one of those tote bags in the middle of the night. It just happened to be available online. So that was my like random claim on the internet on the Jimmy Choo website last year. This year it was one of the Sailor Saturn Avenue vanity bags. So this one has a really big dust bag that comes with it. And we do have the white bag as well. Whoa. I smell the leather. <laughs> Last year, it was made out of PU leather, which is a faux leather material. Uh, this year, the bag is made out of leather. It's 60% calf leather, I believe. You can smell it as soon as you open the bag. So if you are somebody who does not want to opt for real leather, you would probably want to skip this collection because it is real leather. So just an FYI, wow, the gradient. Whoa, this is really, really pretty. Just look at that. Oh my gosh. It's a big bag too. It's very big, but this one feels more flexible than last year's. Last year's is pretty stiff. It's a stiff faux leather. This year we have a really, really flexible, real leather. It feels very good to the touch. It's very smooth. We have a very, very smooth image on here. And the print quality is very nicely done. 
That is really, really pretty. Okay, so let's take a close up look at this bag. I'm gonna take everything out because I'm not even sure what goes in here. Okay, so here is the bag in its full glory. We do have the information card here, so I'm just gonna take that off. Let's remove that, put it to the side for a second, and let's take this off. Is that everything? Okay, I think that's everything. Here we have the medium size tote bag. Now on the front of it, we do have this gorgeous, gorgeous gradient. This is a really beautiful image of all the Sailor Guardians. I love that we have everybody chilling here. There's everybody hanging out. We also have some gorgeous imagery that wraps around on the sides, goes all the way around. And this is the back. Now, personally, I would have loved if they also had some kind of art right here too, so that you had that gradient that continued along the back as well. That would give me more of a reason to kind of flip this back and forth, kind of depending on, you know, which characters I wanted to show off. That's something that I was doing with the tote bag from last year. On the other side, we again have some beautiful images from the manga. And then we have back to the front. Now on the bottom, there is our gorgeous girl, Sailor Saturn. She looks incredible, so beautiful. The nice thing about these diamond bags, and the only reason I know this is because I was kind of snooping on other Jimmy Choo diamond type bags on their website, because this is a model that they do sell in like black and cream colors and different colors, but you can fold the two sides in so that it has more of a octagonal shape to it, or you can kind of push them outwards so that it has more of a traditional tote bag shape. Either way, it's totally up to you. I kind of do like that in this shape, it's a little bit smaller than the previous tote bag. So it gives off the impression that it's a different size. This is pretty cool. It comes with a little keychain. Now, if I pop this out, so this is a little keychain, like a little drawstring keychain that hangs out. And that does have the Jimmy Choo logo on the front of it. That's really cute. On my top down camera, you can see the color of the interior of this bag. So this tote bag is a really beautiful, almost like a dusty pink. It's really pretty. And since this is leather, you do have that more suede interior feel. So this looks like a really gorgeous dyed leather. I'll definitely have to be a lot more careful with this bag since it is real leather. You can certainly tell just from the smell, from the feeling of it. It just has a completely different feeling from the faux leather one from last year. This buckle is adjustable. So if you want to close it really, really far, you can do that. If you want to leave it more open, you can do that as well. On the back here, there is a Jimmy Choo logo says made in Italy. And we also have this really cute little leather pouch, which is removable. So this leather pouch does come off. It is two sided with the dusky pink color on both sides. And this zipper opens up to give you a nice little compartment. I already took out the trading cards, but there were trading cards in here as well. Love it, love it, love it. This is so pretty. This is so pretty on so many different levels. And I am so excited to own one of these for this year. It's also really nice to wear, like it's super comfortable. And I think part of that is because it flexes. So it's more of a flexible leather material. So it does feel really good to hold. I like how it folds down underneath your elbow. I think that feels really good. And it looks nice too. Like look at the colors of the bag while I'm wearing this black milk clothing dress. How pretty is that together? Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I love it, y'all, I love it. Now, if we are comparing them side by side, here we have last year's model, which is the faux leather material bag. This is this year's model, which is the real leather bag. Comparing them side by side, you will notice that this one is a more pastel color, and this one is more vibrant. This one, of course, only features the inner guardians, and the print is only on the front and the back, as compared to this year, where we have the print going all the way around, except for that back panel. So as I mentioned previously, I do like that the older bag has both sides printed, so I can wear it front and back. This one has more of the, here's my Jimmy Choo bag on the back of it, while on the front of it, we have more of that classic Sailor Moon anime bag. And in terms of the fabric, the one from last year has more of a more of a textured feel to it. You can see it more in my top down camera. You can see more of that texture on the material. It is still a really nice clear image. It's a clear print, but it's definitely textured. So it's more noticeable on this one. This year, the leather is very, very smooth. I also noticed that the interior of both of these bags is very different. Again, we have more of that suede material on the, on the inside of this one. There's your leather on the interior. So it's that dyed dusky pink, while the old one has more of that 
hot pink color. All right, the last item from my Jimmy Choo collection from 2024 has finally arrived. This is a beautiful scarf. So let's go ahead and unbox this too. Here is the box for the scarf. This features the same kind of logo on the front of the black box. It's absolutely gorgeous. Now I did have to buy this from Japan because they were sold out here in the United States. This comes in a much smaller box, so not as much packaging went into this box either. We have some information in here. I'll translate that later. I don't wanna tear up the packaging, so I think I'm just gonna take the whole thing out, slip it out like so. There we go. Oh my gosh, I'm really happy I got this. Wow, that is beautiful. So this is a silk material. It has a small logo on the corner sewn at two ends. It says Jimmy Choo London on it. it. says dry clean only. Not that I'm ever going to use this to the point where I would need to dry clean it, but if you needed to, it is dry clean. There is a logo down at the bottom of it. I would frame this, honestly. Hang this up and then straighten it out a little bit so you don't see the wrinkles. So this features the same artwork that we've seen throughout this collaboration. But in this case, it's in this beautiful rainbow gradient from greens and blues up here all the way down to pinks and purples. I think this is absolutely beautiful and definitely something that I'm super happy I was able to get my hands on. This one specifically, I had to hold out and post this video until the end of the month. So you're now seeing it even though it's been a few weeks. The reason why is because this was a gift for one of my friends. So now I can show you what it is and give you a little unboxing impression of this item too. I had already opened this item specifically so I could ensure that it was the correct item that was purchased and I decided to modify the collector card pack for this friend of mine so that she would get her favorite Sailor Guardians. But now I can show you what it is here we have the barcode, the holographic sticker for this item, and here you can see that it is one of the card holders. This is the one that features Sailor Uranus and Sailor Neptune. Now, I did not purchase this for myself, but me and one of my besties decided to purchase this for one of our other friends because she's amazing. She's been working really hard. We haven't seen her in a really long time because she has been working so hard and we love her very much. So this amazing card holder comes in this gorgeous black box with the embossed Jimmy Choo and Sailor Moon logo on the front of it, of course. On the inside, we do have the little silica pack, which has the Jimmy Choo logo on it. We have the beautiful, beautiful tissue paper. And right here we have the Jimmy Choo Sailor Moon bag. <gasps> Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I can already kind of see it through this dust bag. Now, if you collect these items, make sure that you keep your item inside the dust bag when it's not in use and make sure to cover it with this white linen fabric inside of the black bag, just to ensure that there's no like rub off of color and to make sure that your item is kept safe. Oh, wow, that is gorgeous. So on the front, we have the silver Jimmy Choo logo in metal. I believe that this is actually real leather this year, which was very nice. On the front, we have this manga, beautiful illustration of Haruka and Michiru. They look gorgeous together. And I love this blue tint that they chose for the color of this. You kind of see a gradient. It's a little hard to see because it's line work, but there is a bit of a gradient going from this teal color over here over to the darker blue color for Haruka, which totally matches the character. So I really appreciate that little detail, little piece of detail for this smaller item. On the back, we have, of course, the logo for Jimmy Choo and Sailor Moon. I'm not gonna rip off the paper since this is for my friend, but I will show you the interior. Here we have the interior. It has the Jimmy Choo logo on the interior there, and we also have that pink lining. That is a gorgeous card holder. So the last thing that I wanted to mention with this video is talking about purchasing designer brands when it comes to being a Sailor Moon collector. Even though I have been collecting off and on since I was a little kid when I was first introduced to Sailor Moon. I didn't really get into it until I was already in a career, I was already in a job, and I was able to focus a lot on more designer, more premium brands. And that's going to include a lot of the higher end collector pieces. That includes Volk dolls and Jimmy Choo items. And a lot of times it's gonna include figures as well. But also something that I consider is 
a budget and I do have a monthly budget for my Sailor Moon collection and it is very specifically for those items. So if I don't use up my entire budget for a month, I will continue saving into that bucket for these bigger designer brand items. Now, oftentimes what I will do in order to afford these items is sell some of my previous items that I have kept in good condition. That could be enamel pens, that could be older purses that I might have, that could be some fashion items that I just didn't wear very often and I didn't find useful for my lifestyle. So in order to pay for these items, I will do little garage sales throughout the year because I, I try to forecast for these bigger collaborations whenever they are going to happen. I know that there were some differing opinions about purchasing these items and whether they were worth it or not. And that's really going to come down to your own personal lifestyle. I am one of the older generations that's into Sailor Moon and I've been in my career for 16 years now as a content creator and I've been saving for a really long period of time. So collecting is something that I try to do responsibly and I try to come at it as a at a perspective of I'm not going to collect everything, even though there's thousands of items that I could purchase that have to do with Sailor Moon, I'm only going to focus on very specific individual items. So there are plenty of times that new things are going to come out with Sailor Moon that I'm personally not going to collect. There will be many times when I see something and I just, I don't like the quality. Uh, dishware is a perfect example. If I can't wash it, chances are I'm not going to purchase it unless I really like the design and it's something I wanna display. But in the case of Jimmy Choo, I'm not purchasing these items just to show them off in my collection room. These are items that I really want to use every single day. So just keep that in mind. Try not to have FOMO when it comes to Sailor Moon collecting because there are so many items out there. I really try to be intentional and try to be responsible about what I'm collecting. Just focus on those items that fit my lifestyle. And if it doesn't fit my lifestyle, I'll skip it. I really like to tell people that are getting into collecting that you don't have to feel like you need to collect every single thing. You might have FOMO from time to time, but have patience because oftentimes you will find that items, if somebody's reselling them, like especially vintage items, you will find those items at a decent price eventually. That that happened to me with my Volkstall. I didn't pay the current market price for Sailor Moon and it's not something that I think is going to happen for a lot of the vintage items that I'm trying to get into right now. Even the first Jimmy Choo collaboration, I have seen a lot of the pre-owned bags going for less than retail. So keep that in mind because oftentimes if you just have the patience and be responsible, then you can find these items at good prices. So if you're watching this video right now, don't come at it with FOMO. These items are not going anywhere. They're not gonna disappear on you. And eventually somebody is gonna get bored and they're gonna resell their pre-owned items. Now, if you have any questions about the Jimmy Choo collaboration, make sure to put those comments down below. And don't forget to subscribe because this is all I talk about here is Sailor Moon merchandise news, reviews. I do some how-tos and tutorials on how to purchase items. And I always love to be able to share with you. And again, a huge thank you to the Jimmy Choo customer service. Y'all were incredible. The LA stores, y'all are awesome. Sailor Rafa and Jerome, you're my dudes. I appreciate you so much. Thank you for making my best friend's anniversary so special. And thank you so much for your help in getting the items that were on my wish list. I appreciate it. I'm so grateful. And I can't wait to unbox all those trading cards. <gasps> Keep an eye out for the trading cards and I'll see you next time. Jenny.